The primary purpose of the Automatic Flight System, AFS, is to maximize safety, comfort and fuel efficiency. The AFS provides a means of controlling the aircraft on a selected flight path, both laterally and vertically. The AFS provides an automatic means of fully controlling the aircraft around all three axes, the pitch, roll and yaw axes. Using the AFS will reduce the flight crew's workload, leaving the crew confident that the aircraft will fly within the limits of the flight envelope, whilst providing optimum safety and comfort for all on board. The AFS comprises a number of subsystems. These are the Flight Augmentation Computers, FACs, which control the yaw damper systems, a pitch trim system, and a flight envelope protection function. The other AFS subsystems are the Autopilot and Flight Director System, APFD, and the Auto Throttle System, ATS. Although together these systems form the AFS, they are actually separate systems and capable of independent operation. The Flight Management System, FMS, interfaces so closely with the automatic flight system that it is often perceived as being an AFS subsystem. For these reasons, you'll be learning about the FMS in this chapter. However, in the next few lessons, you'll be concentrating on the AFS. Now let's look at the system duplication and segregation built into the AFS. There are two facts. As you know, the facts provide a yaw damper and pitch trim system, as well as providing a flight envelope protection function. There are two autopilot and flight director systems. And some aircraft have a second autothrottle system installed. All automatic flight subsystems are self-monitoring. If a unit fails, it disengages automatically, so as not to affect aircraft handling. In case of system failure, the backup system will take over. In summary, this duplication and segregation of supply services built into the AFS ensures that the maximization of safety, comfort and fuel efficiency is always maintained. This completes the overview lesson on the AFS.